In section 3.5, we will discuss the associated legender function and we know that in the previous case we considered the azimuthal symmetry and there was no dependence of V means the potential on phi. So in the case when we will have no azimuthal symmetry, So in this situation, when there will be no azimuthal symmetry, then m will not be equal to zero, and our potential, which is phi, will be dependent on the coordinate phi. So in this situation, we will write our Legender equation is d over dx and one minus x square dp over dx plus l into l plus 1 minus m square 1 minus x square and this whole we will have to take p is common so this is p and this p a function of x and this is equal to zero this equation we call the associated legender function because legender function was when m was equal to zero when m is non-zero then we are having the phi dependence of potential as well and now we will have to solve this differential equation now we know that the earlier when m was equal when m was equal to zero then we wrote the solution in terms of the legender polynomials which was when m is equal to zero then we wrote with the help of the Rodrigue formula the legender polynomial is 2 to the power l and L factorial dl over dxl means the lf derivative and x square minus 1 to the power l and now when we will say that in the case when m is non-zero then the solution of this differential equation will also be in terms of the Rodrigue formula we will write is the p l p l m of x this is p l of x the lth derivative and m index will be then the mth derivative of all this so p l m of x is equal to minus 1 to the power m 1 minus x square to the power m over 2 and d m over d x m and p l of x where p l of x is this one so it will be the mth derivative of the legender polynomial we can use this p l m of x instead of p here and we can prove that surely this satisfies the associated legender equation so the this in order to put this here and verify that yes p l m of x is the solution of this differential equation i will include this thing is the 
assignment one. So this is assignment one. This is the assignment one and the assignment is to prove that let me call this one is equation one to prove that PLM of X is the solution of equation one. So how we can do this thing? We will take PLM of X, its value here, we will put here for P here and here and we will prove that the result come out to be zero and then it will be the it will prove that PLM of X is the solution of this equation. Now here so this one is done. Let me enclose this so that it is not part of our calculation. Okay. Now the m that we are using here is actually an integer. m is an integer which we have proved in the term when we will write in the qth part. This was we have written u p q. So q part is neutral part we have written over there that it is an integer and its values were plus minus one uh, zero its value was zero plus minus one plus minus two and so on and such that this m values in relation to l they will be less than or equal less than or equal to m will be less than or equal to l and it will be greater or equal to zero so in relation to l it will be like this however we the Rodrigue formula can be used for a valid definition for negative values of m and p lm of x is equal to let me put the values so we have minus 1 to the power m and 1 minus x square m over 2 d m over d x m 1 over 2 factorial 1 over 2 power l and then L factorial D L over D X L X square minus one to the power L. So I can combine these two and P L of X will be equal minus one and this will be I can write from here that here minus 1 to the power m we will take first the nth derivative and then we will take the nth derivative so the so this is this will be first for the negative values of m so we will have minus 1 to the power l and 2l L factorial mean the constant will come out then 1 minus x square to the power m over 2 and d so now dm over dxm will apply on d l over dxl now we know that both m and l are integers 
So we can write the, the two will multiply like we are having for example d and over dx for example we are having the second derivative and here we are having the triple derivative. So these two combine and they will give d5 over dx5. So here these two will combine and it will be L plus M divided by dx L plus M and x square minus 1 to the power L. Now this is the first we will take the lth derivative then we will take the mth derivative means the m times derivative of this so minus 1 to the power m it will change and how it will change means when this will depend on the power of l because when we take its derivative and l is 1 then it will be 2x when l will be equal to 2 then it will be x4 power 2 so this one this will change sign not with respect to l but with respect to m and such date such date m is in between plus l and minus l so the m values the l values are the m values will range plus minus plus minus and they will be from the minus value of l to the plus value of l and a short exercise a short exercise can prove that short exercise can prove that the PLM if we take the positive value of M and the negative value of M PLM is will be means of X will be equal to PL minus M of X these two values will be equivalent and what will be the constant then means some constant will be here so what will be that constant and a very short exercise can prove this thing and this will be our assignment two or assignment Two is that prove that P L M X is related to P L minus M of X by the relation by the relation and the relation is that P L minus M X is equal to minus 1 to the power M L minus M whole factorial divide by L plus M whole factorial and P L of X and here we have M. So this will be the assignment 2 to prove that this thing is equal to this. The relation between means the constant when we will relate PL 
m of x with the pl minus m of x then this will come out to be the constant so we can prove this in assignment 2